Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Unique and Different with me, Shamla. Today, I have Russell Diaz, who is a successful student of the SEA exam. He recently completed the SEA and went from the blind, blind school to Canopia High Secondary. And today, he's here to share his experience being blind and, you know, going through the schooling system. So for the start of today, we have Russell Diaz. Good morning, Russell. How are you doing? Good morning, Ms. Maharaj. Ms. Maharaj, thank you for doing, having this interview with me. It's a pleasure, Russell. I could, you know, I could see your excitement. Um, can you tell us what was the biggest challenge that you had to face going through primary school being blind? Well, the biggest challenge that I had going through primary school was preparing for the SCA exam. That's the biggest challenge, preparing for the SEA. And what about it was challenging? Well, the, well, the work. The work itself. And how did that make you feel? It made me feel kind of... It, did it make you feel how um, anxious? Did it make you feel overwhelmed? It well. did it... But like yeah. I said, well, well, it makes me feel over, over well. well. Okay. And at what point, so being blind, right? So you're being blind. Did you ever feel left out or anything like that during your schooling, schooling years so far? No, not really. I've never been uh, left out. Okay. Okay. And what do you look forward to the most? Um, you know, in terms of secondary school, what are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to doing normal stuff. Doing normal stuff. I think that's, I think there's a profound answer because, you know, we tend to overthink and say that we're looking forward to this and attend that. And just being normal is incredible. So um, what advice? Okay, before I ask you this, can you tell us a little bit about your disability? Yeah, well, I am I have a common disability. I have I have a diagnosed retinal detachment at cloudy corneas. I was diagnosed that for six months for star year. After okay. And in terms of like navigating through navigating through life in general, how do you move to, you know, experience things with your friends? Um, you know, how do your friends communicate with you in terms of being blind? Do you feel do they make you feel any different? No, not really. That's fantastic. And what advice would you give to, you know, other youths who, I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, what advice would you give to other youths in preparing for anything in life? What advice would you give them? Because you did say you feel over, felt overwhelmed, right? So there was a way that you had to manage that in order to be successful in your SEA. So what advice would you give? Well, I'm the advice I give, don't give up. Keep, Just continue. Don't give up, continue going. Listen to your teachers and parents. And last question. Who, who would you like to thank in playing a pivotal role in your, you know, schooling so far? i like to thank the teachers at School for Blind for having hope. In my end of the SCA exam, especially Mr. Shamdari, have a hope for my of the SCA exam. Exam and the principal. And the principal, thank you. Well, Russell, this was an incredible interview. I want to say thank you so much for coming and you know sharing your story. I want to say congratulations on passing your SCA exam. I wish you all the best and what I want to say is that, you know, just as you mentioned, 
you're just looking for normal stuff, no, looking for the normal, you know, to be normal. And that's profound. So thank you so much. Guys, with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for tuning me to this week's segment of Unique Not Different. As I always say, be good. Be good. Bye, everyone.